Well, hello, dear friends. I'm Leonardo, civil engineer from Brazil. And on this video, I would like to talk about some uh, comparative study of uh, some similarities and difference between solid mechanics and fluid mechanics. There are plenty of uh, attributes that you and study methods uh, that you can uh, study from them to which helps understand them both okay so on the left column we have here solid mechanics attributes and uh, on the right column we have fluid mechanics attributes let me slow this down mm -hmm. so um, I guess uh, I think that's okay well our description here in solid mechanics is usually Lagrangian and fluid mechanics is Eulerian well, what does that mean? It means that our main variables uh, in solid mechanics are the displacements, the displacement field, U, V, and W, the displacement in X, Y, and Z direction. Okay, uh, from the displacements, we can determine the strain, and from the strain, usually using constitutive relations we obtain the stresses field and forces and moments and etc okay but in the case of fluid mechanics we have the time derivatives of the displacements here u dot v dot and w dot which are the velocities so this is the Eulerian description of course you can use also use the Lagrangian description in fluid mechanics, but usually we use the Eulerian description on fluid mechanics. But besides velocities, which are the time derivatives of the displacements, we also have uh, the pressure term as a variable. Because in fluid mechanics, pressure and velocity, they are um, attached linked to each other they are coupled they are coupled in the same uh, equations so if you know the pressure then you know the velocity and vice versa this is a problem in solving these equations as we will, as i pretend as i intend to talk about uh, in another video okay so here we have our most used constitutive relations which have plenty of similarities here for solid mechanics we have Hooke's law of elasticity is the equation of elasticity which relates the stress and strain here in the tensor notation and here are uh, young models okay so this young modulus here is in its matrix form for each so we have uh, six stresses and six strains for one one dimensional 1d we have our uh, it uh, simplifies to this most known uh, version of the Hooke's law okay so now we have uh, the stress in the x direction or could be Y and Z related to young modulus of the material and, uh, and the strain. So it's a linear relationship between stress and strain, okay, as we see right here. Here we have the elastic region of some material, it could it, it usually with the uh, yield. Uh, of the plastic region, which is usually the stress strain uh, graphic of uh, metal, metal alloy, steel, aluminium, and etc. Okay, 
So, uh, very similar to Hooke's law, we have also a linear relationship for flows, which relates the shear stress in a fluid to its rate of strain. Okay, here we denote by this tensor here. As uh, sub ij is equal, let me write down here. So, as ij is a tensor, a tensor field, which is given by this. Here we have our velocity gradient plus partial y partial x j right so this is our strain uh, our rate of deformation tensor in fluid mechanics so also for one dimensional we have uh, tau or shear stress in x y equals to a constant which is which is known as the dynamic viscosity and the velocity gradient in the y direction for 1d of course because if it were in 2d we will have another component of the velocity gradient which will be given by this okay so this is for 2d right I will leave it in one dimensional so as you can see here it's pretty similar it's also a linear relationship in solid mechanics we have the normal stress here in fluid mechanics we have shear stress in solid mechanics we have young modulus as a constant for this linear relationship and in fluid, in fluid mechanics we have the dynamic viscosity in solid mechanics we have the strain and in fluid mechanics we have our uh, velocity gradient okay so for a Newtonian fluid here we have our velocity gradient and here we have our shear stress right so if it's a linear function yeah a line a straight line we have a Newtonian fluid uh, and did not wrote it here uh, so uh, we have a Newtonian fluid and for a solid in solid mechanics we have uh, elastic uh, elastic material linear elastic material right so our simplify model in solid mechanics will usually be at least uh, elastic linear is a truck like steel and other metal alloys like copper and aluminium etc below the yielding region and in fluid mechanics we have incompressive flow like water oil and air below the subsonic the supersonic speed which we call the subsonic speed okay when solving the governing equations numerically usually for solid mechanics we use the finite element method or some called the finite element analysis Phi e a uh, whereas for fluid mechanics we use the finite volume method FVM which is, but uh, there are no restrictions between using finite volume finite volume method for solid mechanics and finite element method for fluid mechanics there is no restriction we can use both methods for both of them okay also another very used method is a finite difference method which was uh, to a certain extent a uh, precursor of these two uh, of these two methods and we have other 
more uh, sophisticated methods like spectral methods, uh, high order finite difference schemes, and so on. Well, uh, in concerning linearity, for solid mechanics, usually if we are dealing with elastic linear isotropic materials, we have linear equations to solve. Couple some uh, rather complicated couple equations, but uh, linear. Whereas for fluid mechanics, we have strongly nonlinear equations because because of the convective theorem. The convective theorem of Navier-Stokes, which contained the uh, uh, convective ac acceleration. Okay. So typically for a simulation, a numerical simulation uh, involving solid mechanics, it could take up to hours, uh, uh, usually complex simulation, hours up to days of simulation. Considering you're running parallel using MPI or another parallel programming language. But for fluid mechanics, a simulation can take up to days, up to months of simulation. I once sim simulated a DNS, a direct numerical simulation, using finite difference schemes up to six order of precision. And it took to me about uh, one simulation only, up to four months of simulation. It was a very long simulation. But uh, keep in mind that I didn't use any turbulence model, so I had to use a very uh, finer, a very refined mesh, right? So, major challenges in solid mechanics and fluid mechanics. Usually in solid mechanics, the major challenges are to simulate uh, materials which are not elastic linear, like, for example, concrete, uh, some composite materials, non-isotropic materials, and simulations which consider then uh, physical nonlinearities of the material and also geometrical nonlinearities such as second order uh, effects. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> well, for fluid mechanics, we have the, of course, simulation of turbulent and transition flow because, and of course, other kinds of. Uh, uh, fluids which are uh, compressive and non-Newtonian fluids. Well, uh, <clears throat> for turbulent and transitional flow and this kind of uh, physical phenomena, we have to use additional equations, we have to model some features of the flow. There are plenty of models, plenty of uh, approaches to some simulate turbulent flows such as well we have the Reynolds average equations we have large AD simulations we have uh, very large AD simulations we have unsteady Reynolds average Navier Stokes and many more uh, models for simulating turbulent flow and for transitional flow it's an even more complicated uh, field of study well uh, I hope uh, for those who both are specialists in one of these fields it could be a specialist in fluid mechanics or solid mechanics or like me, you could be an enthusiast and a uh, researcher of both these fields of study. I hope this clarifies a little bit more the similarities and difference between solid mechanics and fluid mechanics and how we can combine uh, these two amazing fields uh, in order to understand better our physical world and improve our engineering <coughs> our engineering project that projects and design well thank you very much don't forget to like to subscribe and spread the word
help uh, help Gianni's channel notice. Okay, thank you. Bye.